All this month on the Valley Today, we've been sending Christy Larson on adventures around the world. And this morning, she's in the city that never sleeps, getting ready for a Thanksgiving tradition for many families. Of course, we're talking about the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We join her now live in New York in Times Square. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, guys. City that never sleeps, and I feel like I didn't get much sleep because it is so exciting to be here. So many things to do, and some other people from Fargo are getting just that same experience. We have two local students from Fargo Davies High School. They're both juniors, both flute players, and they both have been selected to be in this Thursday's Macy's Thanksgiving Parade as part of the Macy's Great American Marching Band. I had the chance to not only sit down and talk with them, but also ask them how they were feeling about this big opportunity. I was definitely nervous that I'm just going to forget what I'm supposed to be doing, and I've never had a marching band experience before. After being told about the opportunity of a lifetime, these two band students from Davies High School made their audition tapes to be selected for the Macy's Great American Marching Band. It was crazy. The first words I saw were congratulations, and I was freaking out. I was like, Mom, oh my goodness, come in here. You got to see this. Like, look what I... Look what I made it into. I didn't really expect to make it in. And then I got that letter and I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a huge honor. I was thinking, how, what a great opportunity for them to see the world from that view, from the Macy's Day Parade street. Yeah. You know, we always see it on you know Thanksgiving from the TV, but they're going to get to see the world in a whole new view, and also to see how big the world is. But this honor didn't come without practice. You have to work for it. You have to put in the time, you have to put in the commitment in order to get the result. And so these two students who are made into the Macy's Day Parade, they had to put in that time and that dedication. It just shows a lot to their maturity and their ability. And alongside their excitement, they also have some nerves. I've never had a marching band experience before, so that'll definitely be something new that I get to try while I'm there. I think it's going to be kind of overwhelming, but like I'm definitely ready to go. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Alexia and Sydney are both here in New York. They both flew in on Saturday. That's when the big band starts their practice. And they said when I ran into them yesterday, actually, they both said that they've had an exhausting trip so far as they've been not only doing the band practice, but also doing a lot of touring around, seeing some of those sites. They said Monday they had a seven hour practice. And I know right now they're also still doing some practice this morning. They're going to be practicing for about four hours as they stay over in New Jersey before. Thursday's big parade and guys they have 2.5 miles to be marching down and neither of them have marching band experience but they said it's something that they've been looking forward to so you have to keep an eye out for both Sydney and Alexia when you guys watch the parade on Thursday morning. Yeah. I have no doubt they're going to do awesome. Oh it's going to be great and coverage of that parade uh, lots of different ways to watch it starts at 8 on KX4 9 on KBLY and if you're busy in the morning cooking up that turkey, you can watch a replay on KBOY starting at 2 tomorrow afternoon. We definitely have to tune in for sure this year, as most of us do every year. Christy Larson reporting live from New York City. Thank you, Christy.